How do I open documents in the PDF viewer? And how do I use the PDF viewer for special ed? This is our third episode of the ViewSonic 5-Minute Series. If you haven't seen our previous episodes, you can find the entire playlist linked in the description. Our video about the ViewSonic side toolbar explains the annotate tool. This tool is great, but the problem is your drawings go away after you close it and you can't scroll through several pages while you're drawing. Plus, it would be easier for students to see if a document was full screen. That's where the built-in PDF viewer comes in. To start, I would either open Chromium and go to a website where you can download a PDF, or you could open a PDF that you saved on a flash drive or on Google Drive like I'm demonstrating here. I go to the Files app and I choose Cloud Storage and I tap the plus to sign in with Google Drive. Once I'm signed in, I find the folder that contains my PDF. I highly recommend making a folder in your Google Drive for just ViewSonic files and name it something like Zero ViewSonic so it always appears at the top of your list and you don't have to scroll too far to look for it. I double tap my PDF to open it in the PDF viewer which is called Office Suite. This could be used similar to a document camera if you used it with worksheets. Once your PDF viewer opens, you can tap the pen in the corner to draw an edit. To zoom in and out, you bring your fingers together. Sometimes it's a little finicky. I'm going to tap free draw at the top. This allows me to draw any shapes I want, like the annotate tool does. I can change the color. I can change the opacity. I can change the pen thickness. I can also tap to undo if I make a mistake. I can tap note to type out a comment. I can use the highlighter. I can use text to add words. This includes changing details such as font, font style, size, and alignment. I can use the line to connect the pictures. Rectangle and ellipse allows me to create shapes. Web picture lets me search for online images. Special Ed could use the PDF viewer to display news to you articles. You can easily scroll through multiple pages without having to clear your edits from previous pages. Plus, you could easily zoom in to see more details. If I tried that with the annotate tool, I wouldn't be able to scroll to a new page without clearing my drawing. To save, you'd tap the save button in the corner. This saves the file to the ViewSonic. Then you'd go to Files and Download to send the file to your Google Drive or a flash drive. Don't forget to try the activities at the end of the News to You articles. A lot of these were great with the PDF viewer as well. <laughs>